Good morning, plant friends. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline and this is part of my jungle. <laughs> you from a different corner of my room my cat is going crazy because there's stuff everywhere I am standing right here where my bookshelf currently is and where my new shelves are gonna be going stay tuned if you want to see me lug this thing out of here and try to lug the new one in even though I feel like I'm getting a cold and I feel really weak and tired but I really wanted to get this done today, so let's do it. Can we see me? I don't know, man. This light behind me is super bright. I'm still in my pajamas. Don't judge me. I guess this is as good as it's going to get, huh? I can't even see me. <laughs> Basically, what I'm going to be doing is taking all of the stuff off of these shelves and then pulling these shelves out of here to bring the new ones in. So let's start doing that. So, <laughs> this corner now is empty, and I need to vacuum, so we're going to do that. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I have asthma, <laughs> in case anybody was wondering, and I'm allergic to my cat. So, we're going to vacuum, and we're going to bring the new shelves in, and then I'm going to deal with all of this stuff that's on the floor. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so these are the new shelves. You might notice a few familiar items on here. So now what I'm gonna do is bring this into my room and put it in that corner. Can you even tell how cute it is? I feel like you can't with my ugly air conditioner. Okay, can you guys see it? It's so cute. Can you see me? <laughs> um, so I know that it's taller than the window, but that's what I wanted because I feel like it's just going to get more light that way. So I plan on putting a lot of my more sun-loving plants right here on this shelf where it's going to get the most light. And then I'm thinking about putting my more like low-light plants down here because... If you can see, it still gets sun down there, just not that much. And then there's one more shelf on the bottom, which honestly, I'm not sure. I'll probably put mostly books down there. Hi. <laughs> I'll probably put mostly books down there for now. And then maybe like eventually put a grow light and like some cacti and stuff down there. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but my plan for now is to put more of my like calatheas and stuff like that down here where I feel like they're gonna get sun. Let me move you. Okay. Now you can see. So I'm putting 
my calathea and stuff down here because if you can tell it gets some sun but not a lot so i'm basically just gonna put them there for now my orbifolia that you guys can win one in my giveaway check out the last video and then this is my i haven't actually tried to say this one out loud ma makoyana sounds japanese i like it and this cute planter that you can also win in my giveaway um, and then what else, what else, what else? My Maranta, my variegated Maranta. And my little potty pot that you would have seen in my first video. Oh my goodness, this is just so stinking cute. I don't actually know what type of sun this requires, but I, I treat it like I treat my Calathea and my Maranta when it comes to like humidity. So, I don't actually know how much sun this is supposed to get. So, if you guys know, then definitely please comment below. I need to repot it, but I think that for now, I'm going to just leave it on this shelf. I'm going to obviously show you guys a better view once I'm done. Where's my mister? Come on. Come on, mister. <laughs> mister, mister. I actually got myself a clear one. Because I was in a nursery, I couldn't decide between the clear and the green for myself, so I got both. And then I ended up liking the green one more, so I decided to include that one in the giveaway and just keep the clear one for myself. I can always get another one. Not a big deal. But I do think that it looks really cute and decorative on the shelf. Not that you can see it, <laughs> but you will see it. I promise. So then, I don't know, I was thinking about, ooh, this babe needs water, look at her. Does anybody, is she getting not enough sun? It's like turning back to green. Or is it just like it needs water? I don't know, but I was thinking about putting my rubber tree here since this is my makeshift saucer. It's the top of a, <laughs> like a lotion container or something that I'm reusing for now. Um, just because this one likes to have a lot of sun, so it would be, like, right here in the window. But I do have a lot of, like, succulents that need to go here, too. Oh, and my Buddha head. This is my favorite one. Like, ever. So I think I might actually put it on top here. Because this Aglaonema doesn't need a ton of sun. This Brazil is out of control. And I love this new leaf that I've been meaning to show you guys, if it would cooperate. Can you see it? It's like a burgundy color when it comes in. It's pretty cool. It's a really long, long one too. But this babe, you know, they say not to give the philodendron too much sun, but this is a southwest facing window right here. And... She's super happy. If anything, because of the extra sun, I feel like she's giving me a lot of really cool variegation. Like, this leaf is almost all completely light green. Like, look at this one. I never get tired of looking at this plant. This is one of my favorite, favorite plants. Look at that baby leaf. Ugh, so cute. So I was actually thinking about maybe... Ooh, that was loud. I'm sorry. I was thinking about maybe actually having it sit on top of this shelf and like hang over the sides. I thought that would be cute. Maybe. What do you guys think? Turn this up a little more. Hmm. Should I put it there? It's kind of blocking the TV a little. My boyfriend might not like that. But it's getting a little too bushy to be, like, hanging in the window, I feel like. Or maybe it's fine, and I'm just being dramatic. I could find a plant that might fit there. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. It is blocking a lot of sun, too. All right, moving on. Moving on. I have my Aglionema Maria 
So a lot of the plants in this corner tended to like get neglected for some reason, just because I feel like I didn't have a lot of easy access to it. And this is one of the ones that's kind of like not doing so great. So now I'm hoping that since it'll be easier for me to get to her, that she'll be a little bit happier. And then next I have my Pothos Pearls and Jade, which I had to take off a lot of dead leaves when I got it. It was pretty damaged. But at that time, I hadn't really seen any in the store, so I just wanted to pick it up. Look, it's finally giving me some new growth. I was just going to say, it's been doing an awful lot of nothing. You see that little baby coming off? Oh, and there's another one over here. You guys, I think it's happy because I took off a lot of the dead leaves and damaged leaves and I gave it a new soil mixture. If you can tell, it's got bits of bark and stuff in here. It was left over from this like cactus mix that I got on Amazon a while back. Ooh. So next I have my, my OG. My sedum firestorm so if you are new to my channel and you don't know this is my first plant ever i got this as like a party favor from my sister-in-law's um what was it her bridal shower it was her bridal shower and i got it along with a couple of others but this is the only one that survived and it got so big and e Toliated, not etiolated. You know what I realized? I was just pronouncing it the way that it was spelt because I don't think I ever heard anybody say it. And if you go on Google and you know, like, you could click the button where it says it to you, the guy on Google says etiolated because I think that he's just pronouncing it the way that it's spelt too. But apparently it's etoliated, so that's what we're gonna go with. It's just fancy talk for it's stretched out. <laughs> See how tall this thing is? So yeah, that's that was kind of what sparked my interest in plants because this guy just is thriving. I think I'm gonna actually probably still leave it on the windowsill where it was. If it'll fit. No, it won't. So then it's gotta go on the shelf. These things are great for catching fungus gnats, but not great for getting stuck on you and like, there's literally just cat hair on here and pieces of foliage. Super effective, though, for diagnosing the problem. It's not necessarily going to, like, get rid of your fungus gnats, but it'll let you know how many you have. Clearly, I don't have that many anymore because I haven't been seeing any. But I did have a bit of a little infestation there for a while. I think I brought home a plant from somewhere that was really moist and just the bugs were loving it. So that guy's gonna have to be near the window then too to get proper sun as well as this Haworthia, honestly, that's looking real sad. Um, definitely needs a little bit of love and attention. I think this might fit on the window though. Yeah, so then we're just gonna leave that on the windowsill there it's a little bit closer to the window moving on moving on my dracaena or dracaena however the heck you feel like pronouncing it potato potato even though i've literally never in my life heard anybody say potato or tomato you know but it's really just putting different emphasis on you know a different syllable this is my Dracaena. You see how I think I'm funny? I'm not funny. It's okay, though. She's going to go here, too. I'm kind of just plopping things there for now. I feel like this Peperomia needs to go here, too, because she does not get enough sun. I don't know if I should take these leaves off. I just let them do their thing. Thing. I also have some picture frames that I feel like I want to put on here somewhere. I have this one of me and my dad when I was little. Um, he passed away about nine years ago. 
And then this one is me and my best friend on her wedding day. I love this picture. Best day ever. <laughs> I don't know where to put that one yet, but I also have this cute little one that I like because it looks nice and rustic and cool. And that's me and my brothers at Sesame Street Place when we were little. So I definitely want to put this somewhere too. I've been waiting to get shelves for the longest time, you guys. You have no idea. What else am I putting on these shelves? I actually feel like now I have like all this room and I don't know what to even put on these. Last, I guess on this bottom shelf, I'm going to just, I'm going to go through some of my books and figure out which ones I'm actually keeping and then I'm going to put those on the bottom shelf. So I'm going to finish this and stop annoying you guys and then I'm going to show you the finished product. So stay tuned. <laughs> I wanted to show you really quickly too a lot of the things that I like to collect when it comes to books. This is a copy of Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility, 1797. This book was published falling apart a little bit I just gotta glue it down but Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility are two of my favorite novels ever. I also like to collect a lot of just like literature. Charles Dickens here we have I don't know what year this was published but it's still pretty old. Um, I have the complete works of Shakespeare um, Edgar Allan Poe is my favorite, <laughs> like hands down, my favorite author. I have many books that include all of the works of Poe. Some of them are just, this one's Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Ghostly Tales and Eerie Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. And then I have literally the complete series of everything, short stories and poems. So if you are into literature and you like weird stuff, I definitely recommend reading some short stories and poems by Edgar Allan Poe because he was a weird dude, but I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like my new shelves. I'm definitely not like 100% done styling and decorating them. I still have a lot of books and things that I need to go through as well and figure out what I'm doing with those, but this is it for now. I have my propagations and everything set up on the bottom shelf because I'm probably going to get a grow light for down there. Um, I just don't like the way it looks up on like a higher shelf. So yeah, if I update this shelf, then I will absolutely fill you guys in on that. Little by little, we're finally organizing this crazy jungle of mine <laughs> and I couldn't be happier with my shelves so thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other videos of mine as well i try to upload at least once a week if not twice definitely share this with your friends share it with your cats and your plants share it with everybody we do still have the giveaway going on up until either right now I have it as January 5th but I might change it to the first if I do cut it short I will let you guys know but it is still open you can still enter so go and do that and you can win some of these cute little things that I showed you that are on my shelf they can go on your shelf 
and we'll be shelf twins. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time for me to go rest. I need to clean up this mess, and uh, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Okay, guys, so some of the afternoon sun has let up, and I just wanted to show you. I added a few more things to the shelf as well as I was cleaning and going, like my aloe back here, um, some picture frames, and then, you know, the rest of my stuff <laughs> is here blocking it. So I think I'm going to get a grow light for down there. But as you can see, now that the afternoon sun has kind of gone away, this shelf doesn't get an awful lot of light. This one gets a decent amount. And, you know, a decent amount here as well. So, yeah. I just wanted to include this and make sure that you guys can actually get, like, a good look. I'm going to link these shelves for you guys down below. I ordered them off of Amazon for around 60 bucks, I think. And it only took, like, an hour to put them together. It really wasn't that bad. So, all right. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.